We have approximately 40 vehicle, 40 tractor, class eight tractor fleet. Uh, of those, we've converted seven to dedicated natural gas and two are running dual fuel currently. Ohio has a lot of activity in the natural gas, compressed natural gas uh, market. Uh, we have, you know, there's several stations in Columbus along with our station here in Cleveland. And uh, so there's a lot of transient traffic just moving through the area as well as several fleets who have uh, committed to natural gas in the area as well, and they're using the station. Uh, there, we, there are some other states that are lagging behind that we have to service customers in, uh, and the dual fuel option allows us to reduce our carbon footprint, but still deliver to those, those customers. It's a less volatile fuel as far as price goes. You see swings of 20, 30, even 40 cents a gallon a day on diesel fuel and gasoline, Natural gas is a much more stable in the price market uh, commodity. Uh, through the whole process, Clean Fuels Ohio was a resource for us. Uh, several of the different items that they did, you know, the lunch and learns, those types of things, allowed us to network with other, other people in the industry, gain knowledge, and uh, reach out and connect with the people that we needed to to make this successful. Probably one of the biggest uh, uh, challenges we've had is just letting people know that this is a safer fuel than gasoline or diesel. Uh, natural gas is lighter than air, so any escape of natural gas, it's going to uh, vent up to the atmosphere immediately. So your risk of uh, explosion and fire are pretty minimal. We believe that this is a solution that's going to allow not only our business, but the country as a whole to become less dependent and frankly independent of foreign oil. So from a bigger picture, you know, we looked at this project from multiple layers. So you have the layer of how does this help the United States? How does this help Ohio? How does this help Kambach Feeds? And then how does it help our customers? And we believe that there was benefits across all of those layers. I was apprehensive knowing very little about it. Uh, a lot of people had horror stories about it. I think it was like anything, when anything's new, there's a lot of uncertainty, but it's proved to be pretty much false. It's performed very well. It's a quieter running engine. Uh, it's a lot more quiet. The same amount of horsepower is there. Most of my loads are maxed out, so it pulls just fine going down the road. It's a good ride. Performs just like another truck, only quieter. And I fill a few more times than the average person probably does because of my capacity. Otherwise, very comparable. Just the advantages of it. First off, the obvious thing, the cost factor, um, the cleanliness of, of what it does for the environment, maintaining it, the engines, you know, um, as far as how long you can run them, the maintenance improvements. Uh, I just see a lot of advantages. And then the big thing is the idea of using something homegrown. Not only is it American, but it's a lot of it's right out of the ground in Ohio. And, that just makes me proud to think that we can not have to rely on the Mideast. And, and I feel Paul's really on the maybe cutting edge of this, you know, and, and uh, has put out a large investment and feel like um, he's headed on the right track.